Greetings, good people. Thanks for clicking on the video. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is April 5th. The year is 2023. And shout out to all of the Aries. Okay, it is Aries season. All right, so real quick, hot topics time, y'all. These three individuals are in the news. Vincent Herbert is being accused of writing bad checks and he's being sued by a jewelry company. <laughs> My God. Don Lemon. Okay, CNN is seemingly exposing him and his problematic behavior gonna get into that and monique how you doing allegedly is bisexual well this is what people on social media seem to think after watching her recent netflix special did you guys get an opportunity to see it all right so before we get into mother monique and don petty boots lemon let's get into this story about vincent herbert so you guys know who vince is you're familiar with who his ex-wife is he was the manager at one time for tony braxton he is being sued by a jewelry company so the jewelry company is basically saying that he paid them with a fraudulent check all right so this article is courtesy of the jasmine brand let's get into it right now according to a report from radar online music exec vince herbert is facing a lawsuit after allegedly purchasing jewelry pieces on credit and writing a bad check before skipping out all together, all right? So Vince is reportedly being sued by jewelers Green & Co International and Michael Green. The company claims that they were deceived and had their contract breached by the music exec who failed to pay a balance on seven custom jewelry pieces. Now, court documents re uh, reportedly revealed that Vincent Herbert initially borrowed around $66,000 thousand dollars and he was allowed to take home the pieces on good faith credit all right green claims that herbert's uh insistent boasting about his wealthy lifestyle convinced him the deal was good oh dang subsequently herbert allegedly wrote a twenty thousand dollar check after being pressed to pay the money back which ultimately bounced the legal doc reportedly reads Immediately via text message with Herbert, Green & Co. informed Herbert that the check was returned for insufficient funds and inquired when the $20,000 and the remaining balance of the invoice would be paid in full. Green says that Herbert then ran for the hills. <laughs> oh, I could have inserted a joke there, but I'm not going to do that. Reportedly, the celeb has since avoided attempts to get the debt settled. The jewelry owner officially filed suit to take care of the matter back in March 2021, but says Herbert has failed to respond. As a result, Green is asking the court to award his company a default judgment with the debt now having accumulated $81,000. $356.60. Oh no, Vince, this is not a good look. Now, a court hearing has reportedly been set for May in the case. It seems Herbert's financial ruin began escalating greatly following his very public divorce. If you recall, his ex-wife submitted documents to divorce her husband of nine years back in October 2017. Okay, you guys remember when all of that stuff hit the fan? Reportedly, Herbert has been in and out of court over unpaid bills since. The music professional was reportedly evicted, sued by Sony Music for millions, and had his luxury car repossessed. Neither his ex-wife nor Herbert has commented publicly about the suit at this time. Wow. Um, you got to pay your bills, Vince, buddy boy. You got to pay your bills. Now, why were you at the jewelry store bragging and a boasting that you good for the money, knowing good and well that you weren't? And how embarrassing is that? All your business on front street. Pay your bills, Vincent. Pay your bills. All right, who is up next? Ooh, let's get into this Don Lemon drama, okay? We still with the Jasmine brand, shout out to them. All these articles are courtesy of the Jasmine brand today, all right? Don Lemon, ooh, I don't know. If this, if this is true, Don, you are so lucky that they didn't fire and expose you a long time ago. But then it, beg it makes me wonder, why now? Anyway, Don Lemon's alleged history of misogyny and diva-like behavior at CNN exposed. Who did Don Lemon piss off? They're tired of you, Don. 
So it looks like Don Lemon's skeletons have fully surfaced and are causing a bit of controversy, okay? In February, longtime CNN anchor Don Lemon made headlines when he alluded on air that presidential candidate Nikki Haley was quote-unquote past her prime. Lemon claimed that a woman is considered to be in her prime in their 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. The questionable comment resulted in the Emmy winner briefly getting benched from his gig at as CNN This Morning co-host. Remember, he, he apologized and all this other stuff and his two co-anchors, those two women, were clutching their pearls and, oh my God, how could he say something like that? Whatever. He apologized and he agreed to the terms and conditions and CNN let him back on the air. Remember that? That was not too long ago. Anyway, the article continues. While this stirred up some controversy, the incident is seemingly only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Lemon's rumored history of being misogynistic. According to a new report from Variety, Don Lemon has a long history of being problematic and sexist toward his co-workers at CNN. And if this is the case, Petty Boots Lemon, how did he manage to keep his job at CNN for so long? He's been there for a minute. Mm -mm. The story, uh, which features statements from over a dozen sources who currently or previously worked at CNN alleges that Lemon had a history of disrespecting women at the cable news giant, uh, including on-air talents like Soledad O'Brien, Nancy Grace, and Kyra Phillips. Is that how you say her name? Kyra, Kira? Look at Don. He looked like he could be petty though, but really? Anyway, one of the most shocking stories from the report dates back to 2008 when Lemon and Kira Phillips co-hosted CNN's Live From weekday show. According to Variety, Lemon harassed and sent threatening texts to Phillips. Reportedly, Lemon's behavior towards Phillips worsened after his co-host was given the assignment to report in Iraq, which he desired. Sources claim that while Phillips was away, Lemon tore up pictures and notes inside her desk. What are we in kindergarten? When Phillips returned, Lemon allegedly sent her a threat, sent her threatening text messages from an unknown number warning her. And the text message allegedly said, now you've crossed the line and you're going to pay for it. OK, CNN leadership later traced the anonymous number back to Lemon. As a result, Don Lemon was pulled from co-anchoring live from and moved to weekends. Ooh, Don, you petty. In 2008, another incident occurred, this time involving Soledad O'Brien. O'Brien landed the hosting job for uh, CNN's Black in America docuseries, and Lemon reportedly suggested that the anchor wasn't black. O'Brien told Variety... Don has long had a habit of saying idiotic and inaccurate things. So it sounds pretty on brand for him. So if this man has been problematic for this long, why are y'all saying something now, though? Mm -mm, Don, he must got some secrets on somebody there. But he must have pissed somebody off for them to expose him. I don't know, Don. This is not a good look. Lemon's behavior continued to get worse. Reportedly, the famed news anchor would miss editorial calls and show up late to work, which was described as quote-unquote diva-like behavior. Behavior Allegedly, Lemon also grew frustrated that Anderson Cooper and O'Brien got more airtime than he did during a 2009 Michael Jackson memorial. A former CNN executive told sources, quote, that led to a come to Jesus moment. Don was told, look, you've got to address your behavior. Your performance as a reporter is great. It's your behavior that's got to improve. It's what's going to derail you if you're not careful, end quote. So that that was the length of the reprimand. Anyway, insiders also shared with Variety that Lemon was frequently cruel to women that he worked with, claiming he once called a producer fat and mocked Nancy Grace live on air. Now, Grace, Nancy Grace declined to comment, but a person close to her said that she thinks he's an A-double-S and that he uh, was always rude, dismissive, and really unfamiliar with the news content being discussed. A source who witnessed the incident added, that was the beginning of when you know when you knew that Don was kind of volatile. Ooh, that word. And didn't say good things about women. 
Mm. In addition to Lemon's alleged misogynistic behavior towards his female co-workers, the report also claims that early in his career, he openly dated a younger staffer despite it being, quote-unquote, frowned on at the network. Lord, Donnie, Lord. Lemon was 41, and the staffer was reportedly only 22 and fresh out of college. Yikes. A former senior executive said, as fast as you could make a rule, Don would bend it. Now, here's what I want to know. Are you guys gearing up to fire old Donnie boy? Because why is this coming out now? What is it? Is he a liability? Is someone trying to sue the network for some sort of harassment because of Don? And now y'all ready to give Don the boot? Don, you need to speak up, okay? You are very vocal when it comes to other things. And I would like to hear his opinion um, about this. Oh, I had a picture. Well, I'm going to show it. I had a picture of... A picture of Don Lemon that I wanted to show while I was reading the article. I was supposed to be showing this picture. There you go. Look at him, little weasel. Oh, Don, Don, Lemon, Lemon. Mm -mm. Definitely not a good look. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You have to say something about this, Don. And I want to know why you being catty, ripping up people pictures and ripping up people paperwork because you're not getting assignments. Do you think that this is good for your career and your reputation? You need to act your age, Don Lemon, if this is true. And if it's not true, I hope Don Lemon blasts CNN for their false accusations. But somehow, I think it is true. All right, tell me what you think in the comments. Last but certainly not least, okay, Mother Monique. Okay, now I saw this article on the Jasmine brand that says that fans are suggesting that comedian uh, Monique came out as bisexual due to her Netflix special where she shares how she told her husband that she wants to be intimate with women. All right. Now, you know, recently it was reported. I did speak on it briefly that Monique no longer wants to be in a quote unquote open marriage with her husband, Sidney Hicks. Right. She said that since the time that they were married, they were in an open relationship. So this is very inter interesting. Now, I did not see the Netflix special. Now I don't know if I want to see it. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I was all for it. I forgot that it was coming out. But now, uh, I don't know. So I, I would like to see it to get some context. But I'm just going to give my opinion based off of this Jasmine Brand article. And the article reads, Monique is getting as candid as ever in her new comedy special. And... Thanks to her honesty, some fans seem to think the comedian is officially a part of the LGBTQ plus community. The 55 year old comedian and actress recently debuted her new comedy special on Netflix. My name is Monique. And it's safe to say that she did not hold back during the special. Monique opens up about informing her husband that she has a desire to be intimate with women. What do, what do you guys think about this? Did you see the special? Give me some context, okay? Maybe I should have watched the special before I talked about this, but it's a hot topic. So yeah, here I am, all right? While explaining the conversation she had with her husband, Monique reveals that she was ex that he was accepting of her desires. She jokingly explains, I said, daddy, because she calls her husband daddy, for those of you who are not aware. I said, daddy, I want to be with another woman sexually. And he looked at me so beautifully and so patient and so loving and said b word me too he said you find that b word and we will her at that b together oh monique now you know monique's mouth is nasty okay maybe maybe it's funny uh, i don't i don't know i don't know i don't i've turned off from watching it now because i just feel like this is kind of gimmicky but anyway whatever who am i to judge uh during her comedy special she also jokes about her sexuality sexuality which has made some fans question if the stand-up was her way of coming out as bisexual so monique jokes now i know y'all looking at me saying wait a minute b word are you a mother d you see it there d word no i'm not all the way okay i wish you could play the uh the scenes but it's copywritten material so no mm, mm, mm. so following the release of the special one viewer took to twitter and said omg monique just came out as bisexual on her netflix special y'all 
Uh, others said, oh, so Monique is bisexual, Monique's bisexual, not Monique being bisexual. Um, uh, Monique basically just came out as bisexual on this comedy special. Wow. So Monique has had an open marriage because she's bisexual. Well, all right. Happy early pride. So somebody else said, so all the other comics got old and bigoted. And Monique came out as bisexual, like give her her flowers. She can play my gay mom in the show someday. Okay, Monique's letting us know she's bi is the best thing I've heard all week. Monique coming out as bi on her Netflix special. Make me love her fine a double s even more. Oh, so Monique is bi now with the rolling of the eyes emoji with the finger on the on the chin like, hmm. Um, someone else said, did Monique just come out and put the B in LGBTQ plus? Two snaps for you, baby. All right. The Netflix comedy special follows a settlement between the precious actress and the streaming network. You may recall that in 2019, Monique sued Netflix for racial and gender discrimination. Monique and her husband, Sidney Hicks, have been married since 2006 and share 17-year-old twin sons together. Sydney is also Monique's manager. Last month, Monique explained why she and Sydney grew out of their open marriage arrangement, right? Uh, however, Monique first confirmed that they were in an open relationship in an interview that took place uh, the year they got married. In 2016, she spoke more about their previous arrangement and said people didn't understand. So she said they thought it was about swinging and orgies. Uh, and then there were individuals who were venomous about God and they were bringing God into their opinions. People lost their minds and the criticism has never let up. OK, she continues. Sydney had this one thing he had to teach me, and that was reciprocity. This is from an interview that she did many years ago regarding her coming out and admitting that she has an open marriage. He said, if you can have that, it's only fair that I can have that, too. I wanted to continue to see the gentlemen that I was seeing. This is Monique saying that. Monique claims that she wanted to continue seeing the men that she was seeing. And she said that she felt comfortable telling her best friend, who is Sydney, um, I'm grateful he taught me that I had to play fair, okay? What are your guys' thoughts about this? Um, do you think people are overreacting? Like I said, I didn't see the special. I want to keep reiterating that. So, I, I, you know, maybe she's just doing it for giggles at this point. But alluding to the fact that you are, I mean, is that acceptable in comedy? I mean, there's so many people who have been ridiculed for far less. Like, is that offensive to the LGBTQ plus community i mean let me know you know this is a judgment free zone i just want to know like is that offensive to that community if any of you are part of that community is it offensive or is it not that serious because i just think that a lot of people like i said have been criticized for far less some people don't even want to talk about the lgbtq plus community because they're afraid of any backlash but then again it's monique so and i don't know the context of the joke per se i'm just reading the article I don't know. Is she, is she not, is she doing this just to get people to watch? Because this is going to get people to watch. I'm going to watch. I was going to watch anyway, but I'm going to watch to see, you know, to get context of that joke. I mean, if she is, as long as her husband is okay with it, then, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. You know, it's only going to be a problem if her husband is not okay with it, but she jokingly said that her husband is, is, is with that. So I don't know. I wonder if she's going to go online and talk about this. I know that she is, a lot of people are not in support of that joke. I didn't read any of the nasty comments that I saw on Twitter. But I wonder if she's going to get online and confirm or deny this. Um, she shouldn't have to. Um, let some more sales or some more views rake up on the Netflix special before you uh, before you say anything, Monique. That's, that's just my advice. This is a smart marketing move. But is it too gimmicky? I don't know. Let me know what you think. So that's it, y'all, for these quick, hot topics. Let me know what you think about Don Lemon being very petty, allegedly. Uh, if you watch Monique's special, share your thoughts in the comments. And Vincent Herbert, how embarrassing is that, that you're flossing about being rich and you writing bad checks? He's lucky he doesn't, he, if he's lucky he's not locked up. He's lucky that he is not locked up for writing fraudulent checks. 
Child, I don't know what to say. All right, y'all, that's all I got. Ain't got no more. I love you for watching, as always. Until next time, peace.